That Dre finna fold him Pokey dead, his blood smells so potent yeah. Crush his ass like he was a rodent yeah, that shit, you get run down Yeah, I'm from the hood, so you know I love them gun sounds Hey, yeah, look Good morning to you The birds are chirping mm -mm -mm. Do y'all remember that? Only real OGs from Vine remember that <laughs> Good morning, guys It's your girl, Miracle, and I'm back with another video So today is um, What's today's date? October 14th, 2021 why do I say 2021 like that? I sound like that dude from um, TikTok, the tax dude. He'd be like, 2021. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? No? Okay. Anyway, today is October 14th, 2021, and it is currently 8.20 a.m., and right now I'm eating breakfast. Um, today is the day that I'm being discharged. Well... We are being discharged. I'm so used to just, I'm so used to going home and the baby staying here. So, because my other two were really, really early, so they had to stay here and I only went home. But I keep forgetting he's going home with me. So, <clears throat> refer you to that. Today is the day we will be discharged. My stink of butt is right over there. Um, I just fed him. What time did I start that bottle? I started that bottle at like 6.20. So his next feeding will be at 9.20, which is in an hour. And while he's sleeping, I'm eating. I'm having eggs. It was an omelet, but I cut it up. With sausage and bacon, a couple of things of orange juice. Um, I have water and ginger ale over there if I need it. But, yeah. So I'm eating breakfast right now. Um, I've had a lot of people come in here. The lactation lady came in and talked to me about um, breastfeeding. My doctor came in here and talked to me about things that I need to get checked up on, like my kidneys and stuff like that, just different things like that um, that I need to do before my six-week checkup thing. Um, what else been going on? That's pretty much it. Um, when I was, after I had got done feeding the baby, I was kind of walking around because my incision was starting to hurt, like, really bad. So I needed to move around to kind of, like, get that pain out of, pain level down or whatever. And then so while I was doing that, I had straightened up and like, I don't know if you can see, but like right there, I put my stuff on the chair and kind of like just went around straightening up, wiping stuff down. I know I don't have to, that's their job, but I just feel dirty if I don't. I mean, you know, um, then my doctor came in and she did the, um, I call it a push test. I don't really know what it's called or what it's for, um, but if you're a mom, then you already know that when you have a baby, whether it's vaginal or C-section, they come in and they kind of push on your belly to make sure you're like, I think your intestines and stuff, that's how they check that, to check your bleeding. She came in and like lifted up my stomach and checked my incision, and yes, it hurt like hell, but I mean, it only lasts like three minutes and then they're done, so not sure what time we're leaving, but we are leaving today. Um, I technically have to wait 48 hours, so I don't know if it's 48 hours from the time that I got here, which technically is 8.30. Oh, what the matter? What the matter? Oh, what the matter, DT? I don't know if it's 48 hours from when I got here or was admitted here, which was like 8.30 or so, um, two days ago, or if it's 24 hours from, um when I had him, which would be 11-something. I'm not sure. But um, everything else they pretty much already did. Um, I've already passed gas, which is a requirement to go home. I've pooped, which is another requirement. I'm able to get up and go pee on my own, another requirement. I'm bleeding. Check that off. The baby um, has already been circumcised. He just had his jaundice test um, done. I'm not sure what the results of that were. They told, I think they told me they needed to redo it because it was like. I think they told me they needed to redo the um test because the machine was wrong. I don't know. I'm not sure. But other than that, everything else is done. Um, my grandma actually has the baby's car seat because she was washing the cover, the car seat cover. So, when she comes up here, he'll have the car seat. I do have a um, 
going home outfit for him. So I'm not going to change him right now. But before I leave, obviously, I'll put that on him. And then I'm going to get dressed and stuff. And then that's it. I'm leaving. I have to go pick up medicine, medication. Um, I want to put all my business out there. But I will say that, like, they have me on Percocets, which is obviously because the pain is unbearable at times. I feel like the pain is mostly unbearable for me when I first wake up and my bladder is full. Once I wake up and I pee and I move around, I'm fine. But it, this morning, I felt like I was dying. Because like I said, my incision, my where I had to see section was hurting so bad. And I had to pee and I just couldn't get it out. Like I mean, I couldn't get it out, but I couldn't get up out the bed. But again, once I pee and started walking around and stuff, I was, I was good to go. So, yeah, that's all that I have to say right now. Um, this vlog is going to be just two in one. I'm not going to make it two separate videos because it kind of makes no sense. So this is going to be the discharge video, bringing baby home video, plus the first 24 hours at home. I don't mean like 24 hours like when I step in the door. I'm talking about like 24 hours when I walk out of the hospital. That's when the 24 hours start. So you guys can see everything. Like you, you guys get to see what the first 24 hours is like as far as how he adjusts to the car ride, you'll see my other kid's reaction to reaction to the um, baby coming home. Um, yeah, you guys will get to see all of that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish eating so I can get up and go brush my teeth and all that other stuff that I need to do. And um, I will check back in when, when it's time to pick up the camera again, I guess. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, it's 11.42, and I'm still here, and I want to go home. No, but seriously, so, um, after I last spoke to you guys, the lactation lady came in here, and she helped me breastfeed, um, the baby, because I wasn't getting anything out yesterday and stuff like that, so she came in here, helped a lot, look at him, knocked out, came in here, she helped a lot, then they came in here, and, um, the nurse did, like, another foot prick thing to get some blood for the baby of course um so I'm waiting for that test result whatever it was to come back once that comes back then we'll be able to go the prick that they did was for his jaundice I forgot what it was for but now I remember it was for his jaundice they did this little machine thing on his head this morning but they kept getting different readings and stuff like that so they ended up doing the blood one because they said it was more accurate or whatever so um I just have to, we just have to wait for that to come back. Um, once that comes back, then we'll be able to go. My grandma and granddad are coming to get me. They have the car seat, all that stuff. And then the plan is to go home, like home, home, not to their house. Um, oh my goodness, he's so quiet. I haven't ate anything since I had that breakfast this morning because when they called me to get my lunch order, I told them I was going to be gone because I thought I was going to be gone. But it's fine because I'm not even hungry. I'm just more so thirsty. Um, I'm taking medications and stuff like that to help with the pain. I messed up, y'all. So I didn't want to feel like I was abusing the medicine, if that makes sense. I don't want to feel like I'm just sitting here freaking popping Percocet. But, like, I was trying to only take it when I needed it. But the nurse was like, look, you got three other kids at home. You got to take it whether you need it or not just to stay, stay on top of the pain, at least for the first couple of days um, after today. She was like, because if not, then she was like, it's going to be harder because you got to wait for the medicine to kick in, and it's a nine and a third. And I'm like, all right, cool. So my next dose of Percocet will be at three, and in my next, my um, what is it called? My next dose of Motrin, that's the word. My next dose of Motrin will be at five, so... Percocet at 3, Motrin at 5. Um, and even if, like she said, even if I want to do it like 20 or 30 minutes before that time to do that so it'll start kicking in, so it'll help me um, function with the other kids and just in general function for myself. Um, so, what are you doing, boy? I hear you making your baby noises. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I see you. I see you. Yeah, I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to go see my other kiddos. 
I'm ready to, um, it's, I just told my mom this morning, it's definitely going to be overwhelming. It's not going to get any easier, but at the same time, I knew that nine months ago. I don't know if I'm allowed to get dressed yet because I think they have to check my incision again. She already checked my incision and she pushed on my belly and did all that crazy stuff, you know, I don't know, not crazy, but you know what I mean? It hurt. So, um, I should be able to get dressed. I just don't want to get dressed and they tell me that. They got to check my incision again or do this or do that. So I'm getting ready to put him down. I'm going to start cleaning up the room again. Um, making sure everything's packed. Get out. Him, get him uh, get him an outfit out. Um, go do my hair. Brush my teeth again. Uh, all that stuff. And then I'll... The next time I see you guys, I don't know if I'll still be here. Because I, I, I don't know. Um, you guys might see me while I'm here again. Or if not, then the next time I'll see you guys, it'll be when my grandparents get here or when I'm walking out the hospital. I don't know. I just want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Right, Tuda? Tell them. Say free. Say free guy and mommy. Free guy and mommy. Free guy and mommy. I can't get over his chunky little cheeks. Like, <laughs> he is so chunky. Yeah. You heard me say that? Did you hear me say that? Because you a chunky, wonky, wonky one. Um, man, I broke off my bands, one of my bands on accident. So, this is the band. I put my information on there. Nothing on there. It just basically says Miracle Carter, and it has my birthday. August 8th, 96. I marked that jump. Then I have these three other bands. Uh, one saying that I'm not allergic to anything or that I am. I don't know. Then the other one is like a baby band, which I'm not going to show you guys all the way because it has all my son's information on it. Like, all his actual information on it. And, yeah, can't do that. Do the loop. Baby. My rambling is over, y'all. I'm just really bored. Um, I'm not even tired. I'm just bored. I want to go home. So I'm just sitting here talking to the camera, entertaining y'all. So I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to shut up and go get some stuff done as far as getting myself up, out the bed, walk around a little bit. To Children's National Hospital. Updates according to a GoFundMe page set up by family members said that children were not responding to tests over the weekend and that they were still on life support. Three-year-old Carter and four-year-old London died from their injury Sunday. Luke Luker, WTOP News. She the killed Justice all Department kid. dropped a report. Mm -hmm. The leaders did. finally okayed plans for Muslim Cemetery. Prosecutors in Alexandria Federal Court said the county approved the plans in July after DOJ said the original changes weren't good. All right, guys. So I forgot to vlog a little bit when we were leaving the hospital, but um, me and the baby have already left. I'm at the Giant. I just picked up my medicine, um, my medication or whatever, pain medicine, whatever. So now I'm about to go to my grandmother's house um, to get my stuff, and then I'm going home. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. We left the hospital like at 1:45. So since it's supposed to be a 24-hour vlog, tomorrow at 1:45 is when I'll end the vlog. I'll pick up the camera again when it's time to. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so update, it's 5 p.m. Um, and I'm currently on the way home from my grandparents' house. So I left the hospital at like 1.45, went to Giant, got my medicine, and then I went back to my grandparents' house to get all of my, me and my kids' things because we stayed there up, up until I had the baby and then she had my kids for a few days and now I'm on the way home. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not supposed to be driving because... When you have a baby, if you don't know already, when you have a baby, you're not, especially a C-section, you're not supposed to drive at least two weeks. However, in my situation, I don't have a choice because I left my grandparents' house and again, my car was at my grandparents' house, so they would have, I didn't want them to take me all the way home, which I live an hour from them. And then I still would have had to find a way back out to where they live to get my car and find a way to get it back. So I drove around the neighborhood a, a little bit to kind of make sure that I'm okay as far as driving goes. And then not only that, um, 
y'all know that this is not my first child. So with that being said, I, I'm not going to say I know what I'm doing, but I know that I can drive. Plus, I'm taking it easy. I'm driving slow. I'm Because I haven't drove my van in like weeks. I've been having my grandma's car, so I'm getting used, used to my car again, and I'm just kind of like taking it slow or whatever. I'm not going crazy. Um, I still have to go get Travion and Kavion from daycare, but KJ is at home already. Um, my mom got him off the bus for me. So... I'm going to lie. Well, I'm going to trick. I, ain't, I shouldn't say lie. I'm going to trick came in and I'm going to tell him that um, the baby didn't come home. Um, he needed some tests done. I don't know. I'm going to make up something. And I'm going to just uh, make up a reason why the baby didn't come home. Just to see his reaction. But, of course, once he gets in a van for us to go get the other two from daycare, then he's going to be like, wait. And I just want to see what his reaction is going to be to the new baby just being in the car. Just there. So I'm going to put the phone down because I do need to focus on the road, especially today, right now, being that I just had a C-section two days ago. But, um, yeah, and don't come for me in the comments. I mean, like I said, things happen. I didn't have a choice. Um, I won't be driving after today. Um, once I get home, I'm home for the next few days. Um, so please don't come for me in the comments, y'all. Anyway, let me go ahead and put this phone down so I can focus on what I'm doing. Um, and I will pick up the camera again once I get to Cayman to see his reaction to his new baby brother. I had to leave him. He had to get testing done. Uh, probably tomorrow. I almost got in the front. Tricked you. Don't touch his face because your hands are dirty. Oh my god. Look at god. him. Say hi. Don't touch him. Your hands are, are filthy. Because you've been outside. You can hold him when we get home. When we come back. You say hi. Don't touch his little baby face. You cannot touch him at all. You don't have hand sanitizer or nothing to wash your hands. Oh you say hi. hi. Don't touch him. Hi, cutie pie. Oh my god. Are you excited? Yes, are you recording? Yeah, I'm vlogging. Tell oh YouTube, you, tell YouTube, you, to YouTube, you just met your brother, my your I last just, brother. My last, oh god, I just met my last little brother. I can't believe it. Is he? His hand is, his hand is so cute. His hand. Yes. Sir. Don't mind him, y'all. He's filthy because he was outside or something. His clothes are mess. I was standing on the truck. Just oh throwing my little god. Pineapple things. Okay, yeah, don't touch the, touch the baby that can get germs in his eyes and face and stuff. Mm, I really want to pick him up. When you get home, when we come back home, you can wash your hands and hold him. All right, y'all, we got to go get Travion and Kavion to get their reaction, so. Hey, Mom? Yes. Can I have my phone in the car? Sit down. All right, so I just pulled up to um, Kavion and Travion's daycare. And they're getting ready to meet the new baby, and I'm, like, excited because, uh, when I had KK, Trey was only, Trevion was only like 11 months old, 10 months old, so he didn't really understand. He's a little bit older. And then KK is now 17 months old, but again, a new baby in the house, he's going to be like, what the heck? So yeah, let me go run in there and get them, and then I'm going to record their reactions to the new baby. You can't see him. Oh, Tudor. So yeah, let me go run in there and get them, guys. You want to see a new baby? He's right there. He's right there. <gasps> Say hi. hi. Say hi, bro. hi, bro. Tell him how you doing. Hi, it's so crazy. Is he so small? Yeah, hi, Trey. Okay, then go over there with KV on, quickly. Go. You say hi, bro. Hi, bro. Say hi, Kai Kai. Hi, Kai Kai. His name's Makai. His name's Makai. Yeah. Baby you... sleeping. Yeah, baby sleeping. Do you love your new brother? I love you. love you. You can touch him when we get home, okay? okay. Say okay. Say okay. go sleep, baby. Go sleep, baby. Say I'll see you when we get home. Go sleep. Get up, baby. Oh, baby sleep. Hmm? Baby sleeping. He's so tired. His mouth. Mm -hmm, his mouth. Don't touch him, okay? You gotta wash your hands first. Say okay, baby. Let's yeah, go I, home. Let's go home. Yeah. You see the baby? Say hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Get in. Say hi. Hey. 
You like this baby? Stand up. Say hi, boy. Say hi, brother. Say hi, boy. Say how you doing? You see your brother? Say I see the baby. All right, sit down, Chai Chai. Say I see you later. Guys, I'm holding my new baby brother. New baby brother, you know what I mean. Ew. <laughs> He's holding his brother, guys. Um, we just got home not too long ago. I had to go pick up the kids and stuff. And now I'm getting ready to feed everybody, Smash all the babies, plus bag. myself. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys that he's finally holding them. How did it? Hi. Hi, baby. You like having a baby at home? Do you like having a new baby? Stop. Yeah. Do you like having a new baby at home? Yeah. yeah this is all the stuff that came out the car, guys, that I have to unpack. Okay, it's a lot. KK, what you got? A spray bottle. Yeah. Okay. Give it back. Travion Kyrie, give it back. Yep. Thank you. No. Did you have a good day at school? Yes. I'm so proud of you. High five. I'll be outside, Mama. I'll be outside. You playing outside today? Uh huh. Say, I played outside, guys. I'll be outside, guys. Say, now I'm home with my brothers. Yeah, we Number C. Say yes. I went outside. Now I'm home with my brothers. We are with my brothers. Uh huh. So, how does it feel to have another new brother at home for the third time? Mm, feels good. Feels good. Is he so cute? Mm -hmm. Until he turns two, then he's gonna be annoying. I know. Just like Trey, but he'll be all right. Yeah. But um. Hopefully he doesn't start play fighting with me. But he won't start play fighting with you. Mm. Is he comfortable? Does he seem comfortable? Look like you got him slopped down a little bit. He yeah, looks. Put his legs out like this. Oh my goodness! His legs are so small. Yeah, KJ's a baby. There you go. Just keep his arm. What? Keep your arm right here. Don't touch his face. Whoa. Keep your hand right here, okay? A bus. You got a brush? Yeah. You got it out my bag? I got you. I, got you. I, got you. I know. I What's your brother's name? You. Do you remember? Um, Makai. What else? Makai, I don't know. Xavion. Xavion. What else? Makai, Xavion, Christopher Carter. What? That's a whole mouthful. His name is Makai Xavion Jackson. Makai Xavion Jackson, okay. Yeah, I don't know where you got Christopher Columbus Carter. I didn't say Columbus. It was a joke. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to feed everybody. Um, I'm going to squeeze your... What are you talking about? <laughs> they can see you. <laughs> say, I'm being crazy. <laughs> Careful for the baby, okay? I'm getting ready to feed everybody. Dinner and stuff is already late, Um, but again... I didn't get to the school too late, and I had to drive home and all this other stuff. It was a lot. So, anyway, I'm about to feed everybody, including the new baby. Um, but it's not time for him to eat just yet. I need to eat. The kids need to eat. I got to unpack. I got to do baths. Well, I might not do baths tonight because I think, I think I'm going to keep everybody home tomorrow. I don't know yet. But uh, I'll see you guys. Mommy. Yes. And a fat daddy. You told him your name, fat daddy? Yeah. Tell them, say, we'll see you guys later. What are you trying to do? It's currently 10.20 p.m. I just got out the shower. I'm tired. Okay, so it's currently 10.45 and um, Trevion and Kevion are currently asleep. KJ and the baby are up. Um, so the thing, I think the last thing you guys saw, the kids were kind of just playing. I did not give Kevion and Trevion a bath tonight. For dinner, we had meatballs, corn, macaroni and cheese, and it was bussin' bussin'. Thanks, Grandma, for that. Um... And then I took a shower. I'm starting to feel like I have a fever. Like I gotta 
headache and stuff, but I don't know if there's like side effects from the medication. I have no idea, but I know I have a fever. I have a crazy headache. Um, I don't really know what's going on. So anyway, right now I'm, I'm feeding him um, his bottle. I already changed him. I put ointment on his um, area where he got circumcised, all that good stuff. After this, um, I'm going to burp him and I'm probably going to go to sleep because I'm actually extremely tired. Um, I only got three to four hours of sleep last night and then dealing with the kids all day. Well, not all day, but you know what I mean. First day home dealing with four children is not the slightest. Luckily, this little guy, yeah, he's burping already and I haven't even started really burping him. Luckily, this little guy, he um, he slept most of the time when we first got here. So it was easy to tend to the other three. And then once they went to sleep, I knew that I could tend to him. But yeah, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'll check back in after I feed him. Oh my God, y'all. All right, so it's 11 o'clock or a little bit after 11 o'clock. I'm about to go to sleep because I'm exhausted. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this vlog tomorrow. I probably, I probably won't because it's already long enough. Well, I feel like it's long enough. Me and KJ, we're laying here watching uh, Everybody Hates Chris, as you guys can hear. We're about to go to sleep, well, at least I am. The baby's next feeding will be at 10, 11, 12, like 1.45-ish. He drank a good bit because he was asleep for a while. He drank a good bit because he was asleep for a while. And then I went ahead and burped him and put him back down in his bed, and he is headed to sleep. I'm going to sleep, guys, if I do continue to vlog tomorrow then i'll continue to vlog if i don't then i'll close it out in the morning but yeah good night good morning good morning good morning to you hello look how you're looking at me they're like um okay good morning guys i'm back it is the next day today is friday October 15th, it's currently like 11.20 a.m. I know, late in the morning. So, obviously, I've been up way before this. I was up and down all night, feeding him, changing him, all that stuff. But I had no energy to record. And the other kids were asleep, so I didn't want to turn on no lights, none of that stuff. He's right here. I just breastfed him, then I bottle fed him. Because they want me to try to do both to kind of get him encouraged to uh, breastfeed. Um, and then I changed him and swaddled him back up and now, like I said, he's just chilling right now. Hey, say hi. All the kids have held the babies. Travion held the baby. Um, KK didn't want to. You want to say hi to the camera? Come on. But, um, everybody has cereal. You say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I'm at Grandma's house. No, you're not at Grandma's house. You're at home. <laughs> yes, I'm spending time with my brother. What's your smarter? Hey, YouTube. Say, baby Kai's here. Give him a kiss. Ma. Ah, say, see you later. All right, go lay down. You waving your hand at him? Put your hand up. Say, bye-bye. Right here. Say, bye-bye. All right, go lay down. Or go sit down or do whatever you're going to do. Um, so yeah, everybody had cereal this morning. Again, I didn't vlog much since last night because it was hectic. I was in so much pain. I was like up and down, like I said, feeding him and changing him. And then this morning, uh, after everybody ate cereal and stuff like that, I've just been busy with the baby, but now I'm up, like awake. Um, we're sitting here watching Malcolm in the Middle, which I find so funny because if you know the show Malcolm in the Middle, you know it's about three brothers who don't get along. Well, I got four that probably won't get along, but you know how that goes. So, anyway, this video is probably going to go on for another couple hours because I wanted it to be a whole 24-hour, um, video, um, coming home with the baby type thing. So, I technically started the 24 hours at like 1 something when I left the hospital, and it's currently like 11 something. So, I'm going to vlog for a couple more hours depending on what happened and then i'm gonna end this video and then i'll make more videos with the baby and stuff like that to get him out i look a hot mess yo i don't care i slept i slept good after like at seven o'clock eight o'clock i was asleep for a little bit and i slept good so now i'm just wide awake we're well, not wide awake but i'm awake enough but yeah i'll see you guys again in a little bit
<laughs> Go play. Say hi. Hi. You just woke up. Dad just woke up. Oh my goodness. Ow, my stomach, my stomach. Tudor, you're not a big, I mean, you're a big brother now? Say big brother. Yeah, a big brother now. You're not a baby no more. Oh, you're not a baby no more. Oh, he's not a baby no more. Oh, he's not a baby no more. <laughs> Don't be copying me. Ow, my stomach, Tuda. You wanna go play? Yeah. Wait, you wanna lay down? Go get your toy? Oh, yeah. Okay, go play with your toy. You don't want to? They don't want to. Um, it's currently like one something. Like right after one o'clock, like one oh five, one ten. And the baby is still asleep. But um, I'm going to wake him up around 1.45-ish so I can feed him. Um, feed him and change him again. Um, but yeah, he's been chilling. This is the this is the stage where they, all they do is sleep. So it doesn't. it's not surprising me or anything. I have a crazy headache, y'all. I keep having, like, getting fevers and, like, headaches and chills. Off and on since... Ow, 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 my stomach, my stomach. Off and on since last night. I don't know what it's from or whatever, but I know I have a crazy headache now. So, what? Um, and I'm going to take some pain medicine in a minute. Um, Travion and Kavion just woke up from their nap. Travion literally is walking walking towards me from waking up from his nap. KJ never went to sleep. He's just been watching um, TV with me. So it's just been a, a chill day. You say hi? I woke up. No. You don't want to tell me you just woke up? Yeah, it's just been a chill day so far. Nobody's been really doing anything. I'm about to get up in a minute and go find them something for lunch. So I can go ahead and feed them before I feed the baby. I will pick up the camera again when I wake up Kai. I'll be back in a little bit. Hello, people. So, it's 7.30. I forgot to um, vlog a little bit. It got a little bit hectic. So, the kids ate lunch. I fed the baby, obviously, all day. Nothing really changed from what I showed you guys earlier. But that was... Um, that. This was pretty much the end of the vlog. Um, I just wanted to show you guys me bringing the baby home. How the kids react to the baby. And just a little snippet of what life is like with four boys at home. Say hi. Yes. But yeah, I think I'm going to do another video maybe like next week or something of a realistic one where I pick up the camera every time I wake up in the middle of the night and stuff. I didn't do that this time around because I was in still so much pain from the C-section. You eating pizza? Hey. Say hi. So, yeah, I, I was in too, too much pain to be thinking about a camera, but next week or something, I'm going to do a realistic, um, a realistic night routine with the baby or something like that, where you guys see how many times I actually wake up, how tired I really am, like, all that. But, um, oh my god, look y'all, my nose is peeling. I've never had, I've never had, had that happen before, and I don't know what it's peeling from. I've never had that happen before. Like I don't know, skin is just peeling off only on my nose. I didn't see it. You can see mama. You can see mommy's nose. No, you can't. Is your mommy nose? Can you give a kiss? Kiss my nose. Thank you. So yeah, I googled what why it's doing that. Like I think it's from the medicine, but I googled it and it said something like it might be an allergic reaction to the medicine that I have to take. I don't know, but I just want to throw that out there because it's bothering me. But yeah, that's the end of this vlog, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for getting me over a hundred views on my last video under 24 hours. Y'all the best. Keep running those views up. Keep watching my stuff. I'm gonna try to put out content 
Um, the baby has his first doctor doctor appointment tomorrow, and I definitely will be vlogging that. So stay tuned for that. I have a few videos already in my mind of everything I'm gonna do, baby related and not baby related. So you just gotta stay tuned and see. Bye, guys. Everybody say bye. Bye. Came and say bye. Came and say bye. Bye bye bye. Kv in the kitchen, y'all, and the baby sleep, but. But he says bye to Vivian. Say bye. Bye. Can see you guys tomorrow? So yeah, and Kai Kai says bye too, even though he's sleep. All right, bye guys. See you in the next video. That drink full of foldum, pokey dead. His breath smells so potent. Crush his ass like he was a rodent. Yeah, that shit, you can run down. Yeah, I'm from the hood, so you know I let them guns down. Hey, yeah, look.